Now coming up on the T minute, T minus five minute mark. Minus five minutes, ops two, step 420, initiate engine priming. Engine priming started. Ops one, transfer avionics to internal power. LC ops one, avionics, internal power on, stand by. External power off. Copy that, check 420, 421. Internal power nominal. Roger, LEC-1, check 422 and OPS-1, open FTS umbi loop. FTS umbi loop, open and green. FTLU and FTS receiver indications are nominal. Roger, LEC-2, check 423, 424, OPS, send all arm command. On my mark, three, two, one, mark, all arm command sent. SJs, ODMs, all arms. Copy all. NASA TV, report range status. LC priming verified. TV is green. Range is green. Copy range green. Copy uh, priming has been verified. Check 427 and 428. And launch team be advised, phase three dynamic limits will be active at T minus three minutes. T minus three minutes and 30 seconds until launch. Everything's still green across the board. FC command into flight mode. Minus three minutes. Auto sequence start. Podium bus voltage is increased. Less than three minutes until launch. GNC one, verify ready for nav mode. LC GNC one, orb nav ready for nav. And ops two, step four thirty five, switch to nav. LC ops two, switch to nav. Orb nav telemetry verified. Copy that, GNC1, check 436, and passing T minus two minutes, 30 seconds. Coming up on the T minus two minute mark, Antares systems in good shape. There are no issues at this time. Minus two minutes. Minus one minute, 30 seconds. 90 seconds until launch. Minus one minute. Less than one minute until today's launch. At 40 seconds, tanks will be pressurized. Minus 30 seconds. T 
T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. We have engine ignition. Yep. And uh, the launch vehicle from the launch flight facility. Engines are at 100% thrust. Attitude is nominal. And we have liftoff of the SS Pierce Sellers carrying over 8,000 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station. Good performance on the first stage so far. Steady at 100% thrust and nominal. VNO3 open. Attitude remains nominal. Electrical power is nominal. Everything continuing to look good on Antares. Attitude 25,000 feet. Passing through max Q, attitude remains nominal. The first stage is now passing through max Q, the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Now 90 seconds into today's flight of the Northrop Grumman Cygnus resupply cargo craft headed to the International Space Station. TNG3 now open. Engines remain steady at 100% thrust. Coming up on the two minute mark of flight, everything looking good. Attitude remains nominal, power is nominal. Seven thousand feet per second velocity. Attitude remains nominal. Attitude remains nominal. Continuing to get good reports from the range control center at Wallops. Velocity now 11,000 feet per second. Power remains nominal. Beginning slow throttle down. Pressures remain nominal. Now, three minutes into today's flight, throttle down will occur three minutes into the flight, which means main engine cutoff will be coming soon. Now, 55% thrust. And Miko. We have Miko or main engine cutoff, and Terry's now entering a coast stage. Fairing separation will occur about 30 seconds from now. Stage one delta V, stage one is separated. And as we lose sight of the vehicle, switching to our animation, there are some controlled firings of the inner stage of the rocket. Everything continuing to perform as expected. Stage two ignition at 246. The vehicle remains at nominal attitude. Fairing separation. Fairing separation confirms Cygnus now exposed to the atmosphere as it continues its trek uphill to its preliminary orbit. Stage two ignition. Stage two ignition confirmed. Stage two remains nominal. Stage two is a solid rocket motor burn for about two minutes and 44 seconds. TVC on is nominal and power is nominal. is nominal. 
continuing to hear all good calls now four minutes into today's flight. Stage, stage two performance remains nominal, PDC is an attitude or nominal. Approximately 100 seconds to burnout. The equal attitude remains nominal. TVC power and attitude remain nominal. Stage two remains nominal, TVC is nominal. Stage two remains nominal. Stage two motor pressure starting to tail off. Vehicle attitude remains nominal. And we have stage two burnout. Stage two burnout confirmed. Cygnus has reached the preliminary orbital insertion. The next major event will be Cygnus's orientation, attitude remains nominal. Will be Cygnus's separation from the second stage, which will occur at about the eight minute fifty one second mark. He carries us in orbit and will close for roughly hundred seconds prior to payload separation. Everything still performing as expected, now seven minutes into today's launch. Vehicle power and attitude remain nominal. Aries remains nominal. Approximately 30 seconds to payload separation. Latitude remains nominal, power nominal. And we have payload separation. Spacecraft separation confirmed. Cygnus now well on its way to the International Space Station. Two attitude is nominal. Can see the excitement in the room there as some celebration, celebratory fist bumps and high fives take place following today's successful launch.
in uh, Prop 1 LC, Countdown 1. I can verify helium pulse purging is in progress. Copy that. And uh, Prop 2, can you verify HPG and 2 supply line post launch purging? LC, Prop 2, GN2 uh, line pulse purging is in progress. Copy that. And GNC1, uh, let me know when you've uh, provided the state vector to uh, Cygnus, and uh, we'll look for confirmation from them. Uh, LC, GNC1, in work. Site control, step 449, can you remove AFBAY GN2 flow and reconfigure ECS for post-launch? Half bay GN2 flow is off, ECS reconfigured for post flight. We had a successful launch of the Cygnus cargo vehicle, launching at 11.40 a.m. Central Time, 12.40 p.m. Eastern Time today. With it, over 8,000 pounds of food, fuel, and supplies headed to the International Space Station. Arm enable rotated and arm indication no longer illuminated. And Ops 1, disable your local launch enable button. Ops 1, launch enable removed. And GSO, can you disable your local launch enable button? And once Cygnus arrives to the International Space Station in the early hours Monday morning, it will be grappled and installed and then bolted into place. Following that, a series of leak checks at the berthing interface between Cygnus and the Unity module will be conducted to make sure that there's a tight seal between the Cygnus and the station. Following that, the process of hatch opening will begin. Ground lock, external power off. Copy that. And uh, T11, looks like we're LOS at this time. A firm, LC. Okay, TLM, uh, you can stop telemetry archiving at the DCOM. You can stop MCC uh, telemetry display uh, server distributor logging, and you can stop the G2 telemetry recording. LC, TLM, and work will report when complete. And if you're just joining us, the Northrop Grumman and Terry's rocket lifted off on time from the Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia from Launch Pad 0A at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport at 11.40 a.m. Central Time, 12.40 p.m. Eastern Time. Coming up in a few hours will be Solar Array Deploy. We won't be covering Solar Array Deployment live on air, but we will provide updates via our blog and social media. Again, it was a perfect ride to orbit. Cygnus now well on its way to the International Space Station with 8,300 pounds of food, fuel, and supplies on board.